Um, so I'm, I'm loving catching up with an old friend. Um, <laughs> we, we really have known each other for years, kind yes. of as industry mates. We've kind of walked a parallel path. Um, I love your music. There's something just so um, magical about the place you take us to when you perform. And I think it's because you go to that special place. I can just see it when you play that you still love it as much as you always have. And people are loving you, man. We've, oh. <laughs> we've opened it up to, to our social media platforms. Dion Malepa saying, I can't wait. She's a real deal with fire. You are the real deal. And I'm glad to put the fire yeah. <laughs> matches the red dress that has miraculously appeared. Um, Helga Free saying, Louise, a classy lady. Love her calming music. That's Aww. what I'm saying. It's like, it's like a, a balm for my soul. I absolutely love it. Aww. Paula Rasmus saying, excellent performance, Louise. As always, a great favourite essay muso. Um, and this one coming through from Temba Mdraleni, um, asking, who would you work with locally? Because um, you've had the opportunity to do some pretty cool collabs. You brought mm. us uh, earlier um, you know, with um, Zulu Boy. Zulu Boy. But uh, who... Uh, Obviously, Ross from Brown Circle <laughs> would make the, make the, would be the logical thing. Uh, what do you look for in a collaboration? What works? Hmm, I think uh, soulful voices. Um, but then there's also the DJ aspect. Um, I've worked with Pascal and Pierce, and that was a lot of fun with Days Go By. Who else have I worked with? I've, um, so... I don't know. I think I think you, you know it when you see it. Are you a control freak, or do you enjoy the the collaborative process? Is it easier, or is it more difficult when you go into that? That's a good that question. Um, the example I would give is Pascal and Pierce. I am controlling. Um, it has been said. <laughs> but when I worked with these guys, they're like ten years younger, and it was. They were, I think at the time they were like 21 and they just came with this, this groove and it was so sexy. And I did the Days Go By, which was a piano and voice track, put it over the dance track. And then they put all this reverb and crazy kind of echo sounds in it. And I listened to it the first time. I was like, oh, no, it needs to tighten up. And then I thought, I don't go to clubs anymore. Let the guys Let go into clubs. Let it go. <laughs> Let it go. Let them take uh, over. And it was a big hit. So. And, and also in the hands of masters. But uh, I'm sure you, you absolutely love sinking your teeth into to music that might be slightly different because you are a singer-songwriter and you get to perform your own stuff a lot. Yes. What are you going to perform for us right now? Well, uh, I'm going to be performing one of Prime Circle's big hits called Pretty Like the Sun, and I just love it. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I've got the show on the 3rd of January, 2020, Sunset Concert, where I've, this will be my fifth year doing it. So it's Stanford Hills Estate, so it's just like 20 minutes outside of Hermanus after the Christmas crazy. What a setting, yeah. And every year I ask a different artist to come and join me. I choose them based on their looks. <laughs> <laughs> Ross, so well done, sing? buddy. Well can done, you buddy. Sing? <laughs> Badly. Badly. Damn it. No, I, I look at um, <laughs> an artist that has a catalog as kind of a, as big or bigger than mine and um, that we can focus on giving the hits. And then also it's a unique show because we're going to be, I'll be singing on Ross's Prime Circle songs. He'll be singing on mine. He's That's playing so some exciting. keys. I'm not playing guitar, but I will be doing that. <laughs> I never got guitar down, unfortunately. But we'll be... And then uh, we've got Denim Holding, who is from Just Ginger. He'll be doing uh, all the kind of the guitars and the drums and everything How for us. Cool so it's going to be a very special that? show. So oh, that, that is such... I love the idea of you guys performing each other's tracks as yeah, well. Uh, who did it best? Uh, <laughs> but we're, we're about to get a taste of that kind of mashup right now. Um, Louise, take it away. Um, and she might not have mastered the guitar, but uh, <laughs> piano she has. Um, oh, the stage is yours. <laughs> Thank you, Graham. Everything you got, give me your life, I'll give you my heart. 
See, like Ross sitting next to you and so you're doing the thing. That is wait. so beautiful. What song are you most looking forward to hear Ross perform of yours? Um, I know what he is performing. He's going to be performing Home, oh. <laughs> which I know is a, is a, is a favourite. And uh, I've heard him sing the chorus already. And we just work, we've got a full rehearsal day on Monday. So I'll take some videos and I'll tag you guys in. Oh, that is so exciting. Just give us one last time the details, please, of how and where and, and Thank when. Thank you. OK, so it's on the 3rd of January, uh, 2020. Can you believe it? Um, <laughs> the show is called Sunset Concert, featuring myself, Louise Carver, and Ross Learmont from Prime Circle doing all our biggest hits in one unique show. Um, to get your tickets, go to www.louisecarver.com or go to cricket.coza. And uh, the show starts at 5, but come in. We've got picnic baskets, uh, lots oh. of wine, a gin and tonic bar. <laughs> <laughs> and also, please bring your old blankets um, be, to sit on, as well as your camper chairs. But I have a relationship with the animal welfare, Hermanas. Oh, cool. So my passion is animals. And, uh, and so afterwards, uh, the day after the show, I get in my mum's old Land Rover. They are in Hermanas. And I take up to 400 blankets oh, and I give cool. them to Hermanas Animal Welfare. Yeah. I love this. You can just literally leave the blanket there. Leave no it. There's notes. a collection point. Um, I've Drop worked it. with animal welfare in Hermanas before. And they, they really are awesome. Oh. Absolutely, love it. I love most of all the fact that your mom thought this was going to be your next big hit. That you yes, had. I get a little side, little side story. I played it for my parents in Amarna, so my mum was tears in her eyes. Said, this is going to be a hit. I said, it is a hit. It a is a hit. So, oh, man, and you'll get to see Louise perform that and other incredible hits um, and a few more on the show this morning. So stick around. We'll see you now.